Hello everyone! Some of you might remember this series. It's called Haunt Insider. I haven't done one for a really long time. Um, in fact, when I went to go see what episode this was going to be, I was like, hey, it's 40! That's awesome! So, you know, I was totally planning for like the last month and a half to keep you guys in suspense just to make the 40th episode, you know, even more exciting. Not. Um, <laughs> I was going to upload this yesterday, but uh, due to a bunch of issues with my messaging system and me trying to comment uh, back to people, I didn't have this recorded in time uh, and you know edited in time to upload, so I had to do a different video. So it's a day later, sorry. But um, enough of me rambling. I have three more haunts I want to show you guys, and you know, let's just get to it. The first haunt is on the YouTube channel UberFi. In 2012, they did a 3D alien theme haunt. It looked pretty cool. I'm sure it looked great with the 3D glasses going through. Um, it was definitely sort of a, a kid-themed, you know, not a lot of intense scares or anything. In fact, you could hear a lot of, like, little kids, you know, leaving the haunted house going, That's not scary! That wasn't scary! To me, that sort of drives me nuts. Like, I hate, like, if I hear kids saying that. Um, even if I wasn't intentionally trying to be really scary, but it just is sort of annoying after like the 14th time going, oh, this wasn't scary at all from like a five-year-old. I just kind of want to just jump out in their face and scare them. But um, the highlight for me, though, was actually the costume that the creator built and was wearing um, out front of the haunt. It was a robot costume and it was called Brainstorm. Um, I really haven't seen a costume like this. It just has so many different little things going on with it. Lights, sound... Uh, a crazy like face display that, from what I can tell, is a camera that is uh, focused on the face of the actual person in the costume, and it appears like on this little weird screen, all you know, morphed in crazy colors. Um, that's a little clip I want to show you uh, is of the costume of Brainstorm. The actor is hidden behind a black cloth behind the robot, and you can see he can move its arms and legs, and the face on that screen is just creepy looking. Such an awesome costume. They have videos for their 2010 and 9 haunts. Uh, in 2010, they did a clown theme, and the corresponding costume he made was this big, creepy, hunched-over clown named Freak Show. In 2009, he did the Toy Box, and um, the costume that went along with that was called The Experiment. His head was, like, in this creepy box that uh, was, like, magnified. His face was all, like, blown up, um, and he could move the box around. It just looked really bizarre. Um, also on the channel... Uh, some of the first stuff uh, that he ever uploaded um, is called uh, Caught in Halloween's Web, and it's a musical play. Um, there's six parts to it, and it just it was kind of interesting to watch. I didn't watch all six parts. I watched like the first three, um, but it did seem kind of cool. Um, and then he also has a website called BaldBrain.com. So again, this is all on the YouTube channel UberFi. This next one has actually been mentioned in a Haunt Insider before, but at that time they did not have a YouTube channel and they did not have all the awesome videos that they have up on the YouTube channel now. Um, this is on the channel Terror Syndicate Vids. Um, it is Terror Syndicate or the haunted house is known as Dark Works. One of my favorite haunted houses or home haunts of all time, I would have to say. I followed them for many years on their website, just looking at pictures and reading about their haunt um, and all the props they build. Um, finally, uh, actually, the creator's son sent me a message saying that his dad finally uploaded um, videos to YouTube, has his own channel. There are 21 videos that he's uploaded so far covering basically almost the entire gamut of, you know, the years they've done their haunt from uh, 2001 to 5, and then none for 6, but then from 7 to 12. So a lot of videos to watch. Um, right now, I think he only has like 20, 22 subscribers or something on the channel. Um, so they, they deserve a hell of a lot more. If you've never heard or seen this haunt, which I'd be surprised, um, it's definitely worth mentioning. And I really wanted to mention it again because the fact that before there was no YouTube channel and all these great videos, so um, even if you know about them, maybe you haven't gotten a chance to check out all the videos. Um, the little clip I want to show is actually from 2005. Uh, it's just some of the awesome like corpsing work that they did. They have so many different types of props that they make um, where it's really hard to say, oh, this is a good one, or check out this one. This is just sort of a, a little quick clip where they show a decent amount of their corpses, so here you go. I love the face on that one, his jaw is hanging so low. And then you got a dead guy all curled up on the bench. Same thing with that huge open mouth. It's sort of like, I guess, their theme that they went with. 
out of the 21 vids up so far. Um, there are daytime and nighttime walkthroughs. There's sort of like prop highlight vids, um, some slideshows, lots of stuff to watch. Um, their props are a mix of static and animated ones, but they look both exactly the same. And what I mean by that is you can't, you know, just pinpoint, oh, that is definitely a prop that's going to jump out or move. And that one's, you know, totally a static prop. Um, they're both really, really detailed and you'll see a big creepy guy, you know, looming over you and you'll be like, oh, he's going to do something, but he totally doesn't. And then a little guy pops out of the corner. Um, they have so much stuff to look at. I'm, I'm absolutely a huge fan of them. Uh, again, this is on the channel Terror Syndicate Vids, and it is Dark Works Haunt. Go check them out for sure. Our last haunt is on the YouTube channel Brad Goodspeed, and it is The Butcher of Provincetown. Um, now, Brad's been a part of YouTube for quite a long time, but it wasn't until this last Halloween season uh, when he started uploading a decent amount to his YouTube channel. Um, basically, all the videos are related to his 2012 haunt. Now, he did an interesting thing to promote his haunt. Instead of just making like a little sign out front that had the backstory to it, um, he did quite a few different things. He created a fake lore that the haunt then was based off of. Um, he made like a, a video, a six minute long uh, mockumentary and posted it online, but not on YouTube. I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, and he even made flyers and passed around his town at like local festivals. And he built up this whole fake story. Um, and the idea was hopefully he would get some people to believe it. Um, but he kind of knew that, oh yeah, a lot of people would probably just think it was like a Blair Witch thing and, and not real. Uh, apparently it worked um, pretty damn well because he said he heard a lot of people uh, mentioning that, uh, hey, I, did you hear this was based off of a real story, a real you know thing? Or going through the haunt, they would point out things and say, hey, that's in the, in the actual uh, story that I saw or read about. Um, now, he did a video on YouTube basically describing the mockumentary he made that is not on YouTube. A little confusing, but if you go to the mockumentary video that's on YouTube, there's a link to the actual mockumentary. Um, sorry if that confused you, but it, once you go to that video, you'll understand. Um, now, the little clip I want to show you, though, is of a really cool prop he made called the Burstook. And it's this horned, creepy creature holding, like, this gas mask little baby thing um, and it's in uh, black light with black light reactive paint it looks awesome so here's that the body is made out of PVC and paper mache and the uh, head is made out of styrofoam and epoxy um, I love that face it's awesome he's done a great job capturing all the elements of his haunt on video his channel is packed full of teaser videos and little highlights of certain props a lot of content to look at um, also, he is located in Toronto, Canada, so if you're up there, go say hi to him. Um, again, this is on the channel Brad Goodspeed, and it is the, the Butcher of Provincetown Haunt. Um, thank you guys for watching. As always, please go subscribe to these people, you know, leave comments, thumbs up, um, and hopefully episode 41 won't be in like seven years from now. So thank you for watching. I will talk to you later. Peace.